Hi, I'm Daryl Black, and I'm so excited that you registered, and I want to thank you for that. I just want to take a few minutes of your time, if I may, to go over the background around the summit and also talk about some of the mechanics of how the content and of the summit will be made accessible to you. So first of all, why the summit? Well, one of the areas that I have particular experience in, and, and it's the background that I'm applying to help corporate managers of business professionals transform their leadership. The background is in emergency management, specifically over 30 years of it, and dealing with things like large-scale disasters, floods, mega fires, uh, hurricanes, those types of events. And something that's very common and, and really defines those types of activities that I, I get involved in is the chaos around it, the sense of crisis, and just the inherent uncertainty. And it seems to me that there is, and it seemed to me that there was a lot of knowledge and wisdom in that area, in emergency management and in emergency services, where the whole job of emergency management is to bring order to the chaos. So making decisions when there's maybe bad information or you don't have enough information and making decisions when there's an awful lot at stake. It's about the, the wisdom of, of, of what's involved with a leader. Should they be the busiest person on the team or should they be the least busy? And I think you're going to be surprised by what is unpacked. What role does empathy have in leadership? Well, you're going to see it has a very, very big role. And we'll talk about that. Vulnerability, compassion, stress management, all of these things that we've been doing and managing and have learned on the emergency management side. And again, my job has always been to take that experience and the experience of my colleagues and help the corporate managers, the well-meaning managers, the business professionals learn how to be better leaders. And there is no better opportunity than right now to be of service and give you this information. So I thought to myself, how can I, how can I help? How can I help? Particularly right now, as we are going through the summer for the first time, it's during COVID and there's so much uncertainty, there's so much stress and there's so much fear and anxiety and frustration. And a lot of people just looking for answers on how to do things, how to handle this quote unquote new normal. And like I said, the experience in emergency management means all of those things are handled every single day by extremely capable and competent people. And so I wanted to take that information and bring it in a format that you can digest easily. And here's the most important thing. This isn't just watching a bunch of Netflix entertainment kind of videos on leadership. These are experts that have been brought together and they have been brought together to give you particular tactics and tangible information and knowledge that, that at the end of the summit, you can be a better leader and you will be a better leader. You will be more in control of your emotions. You will be knowing how to communicate with the team. You will know what your role is as a leader. You will be confident and you will be respected. That is what I want for you. And that is what I'm bringing to the table through this summit. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the mechanics of the delivery here. So you have a dashboard and on that dashboard is a menu. And within that menu will be as the days are what we call dripped or released, you will have access to that particular day and the speakers associated with it. So every morning over the next four days, you will receive an email with a link to the content for that particular day. Now, here's an important point. Let's say we release day two. It doesn't mean that we do away with day one. You will still have that information. And then day three, so you have days one, two, and three, and then day four, you kind of get the idea. So a little pro tip for you is Spend some time going through the content, take lots of notes, be in a distraction free environment, pay attention and lean in because again, this isn't a lot of theory. These are actual experts in the field of leadership 
and go back through and rewatch some of the videos. Now, at the end of the summit, you'll be given access to this Google-like super tool that will allow you to search through the videos using keywords that will not only take you to the video, but actually the timeline or the timestamp and the link to where, say, empathy was mentioned by some of our speakers. So that is how the course will be or the summit will be delivered to you. I strongly suggest that you remember your password. Guilty all the time that I have the postage notes to, to prove it. Terrible for security. Sorry, IT people watching. Um, but maybe make sure that you save it in your browser as well, because I get it. You get busy, you get different you know, passwords for different systems. So that's just a, a little heads up for you. I also want to emphasize that a very, very critical part of this summit is not just the speakers and the content, which is fantastic in my opinion, but it is the Facebook group that we have. It's a free Facebook group. So on this page, you'll see a card or a picture. So click on that and you'll be taken to a Facebook page and you'll have to answer three questions. Don't worry, not skill testing by any stretch of the imagination, but here's what I'm asking you to do to really get the most out of this experience. Sign up for that Facebook page, get approved. It's easy. And then interact with the community, ask questions, have conversations with the community within the community, ask me questions. And I can even pass on some questions to the speakers because obviously I'm in regular contact with them. I'll be going live regularly within the Facebook group. And that Facebook group is called lead from the inside out. So please take advantage of that as well. And I'll end this by saying, thank you again. And I'm telling you, lean in, pay attention. There's such great wisdom to be found in this summit. And here's the thing, treat it like a buffet. Some concepts or, or, or speakers will really resonate with you. Others won't. Other concepts just would be like, no, I, you know what? I, I, I'm not picking up what they're putting down there or I disagree. And that's okay. That is okay. Leadership is about learning to get better and developing. Leaders aren't born, they're made. That's such a fallacy, but no time to talk about that. And so there'll be other things that you'll find even validate your experience. Hey, you know what, that I do that. Or other times be like, hmm, that's a really good idea. So we're not asking you to abandon anything. We're not asking you to just lock, sock and barrel, adopt everything that's talked about. Look at everything critically and apply it to your, your own particular situation. One of the things that you'll see through these speakers is each one has a different style, how they interact with people, how they approach problems. And it's very similar, but you're going to see some nuances. And those are the nuances that you can apply in your own situation because you're unique. Your situation is unique. Your circumstances are unique. Your team is unique. Your, your, uh, the filters that you use to make decisions are unique to you, the leader. And you'll also find to, to kind of put a framework around the conversation to keep it honed in, because we could nerd out for hours talking to some, some of these folks is what I call my transformational leadership method. And it involves three pillars. One pillar is self-mastery. Basically, as a leader, if you can't control the inside, you can't positively influence the outside, which leads me to the second pillar, positive influence. Leadership is influence. It ultimately is influence. And the transformational leader, the leaders that I work with and that I develop in the corporate sector are those that influence on a positive in a positive way and not a negative. Or, and if they start at the negative, we very quickly try to get them over a bit more to the respect, for example. The third pillar, and this is something I think that you'll see throughout all of our speakers throughout the summit is execution. Knowledge in your head is irrelevant. Knowledge in a book is irrelevant. Leadership is about execution. Leadership is about doing things. Leadership is about affecting change to your environment and, and, and leaning in and talking to people, having the tough conversations, making those, uh, having those, those hard conversations and really moving the team forward, but not in a theoretical way. We're talking an actual practicality. So you need as a leader to execute. 
So that is going to be the framework that's weaved throughout the speakers. And as I said, strongly encourage you to, to lean in, distraction-free environment, hop over to the Facebook group, rewatch the videos, and on day four, you'll be given access to this great Google-like uh, search engine so you can go back through the, uh, through the videos. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy. See you over on the Facebook group.